Well, we hope that things are easy because that's what we do at Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. And we love to improve your home and improve your life and make you go, you know what? It's not that hard. It's going to be fun. We're going we to have a good it. time. We can do it. We can rally together as a yeah. community and figure out how to do things. Yeah. Right? And, and feel better about where you live. And, you know, Halloween is not that far away. Well, it's actually here in all the stores. It's everywhere. It's in the drugstore. It's in, it's in, you sound like you're a little angry I was, about it. Well, I wasn't angry. I'm just surprised. Little, like, hey, I'm just here to buy my Synthroid. I don't need to see no stinking pumpkins. But wait I a know, minute. Oh, I, know. I could get them now while I'm here getting the other stuff. And you could right? get costumes or you could make them. And so well, I yeah. thought we would talk about, because, you know, you, you may not be a seamstress. I... You you know that I make Dusty's costume oh, I know every you, year. You, well, I've done. He was an Italian restaurant table one year. Last year he was a carton of milk. And, and what's your year, magical? Well, last night he was sitting in the chair looking up at the ceiling. He de- he said, "Dad, I think I want to be a, a ceiling fan." And I said, "Great, we're going to make you a ceiling fan." Really? So he's going to be a ceiling fan. And the and the kind of material you use? I for use this? I use the foam core, the foam. and I cut it into really intricate. You know, you can they they sell these things where you can make bends and curves by cutting out little triangular channels mm-hmm. and grooves out of the foam core, and then you can bend it right. So I've I've gotten pretty good at at working with that stuff. And then you tape it together, you can paint it. It just looks great, but it's rigid and it looks substantial, but it's very lightweight. Mm-hmm. So it actually, it's a pretty good thing to use. Very cool. Yeah, I love it. Well, there's so many things, and you don't even have to have that much skill. I mean, because that's a skill, yeah. what you're doing. It, this it this is minute. We're breaking it down even, like, kind of dumbing it down, because if we don't have time, we may not be, you know, you're not someone who likes to sew. It's okay. So we're going to give you some ideas of things that are as simple as maybe you just glue it, and you throw on things, and it looks like you've got this great couple. And, and I think we're both pretty much firmly committed to the idea of not buying a prefab costume. Yeah. You know, you can always, you know, you, listen, that's like, I'm, hey, I'm Casper. Oh, my God, where'd you get a uh, Target? <laughs> well, you know what I mean? great. No, no come on, you no, got to no. bring some individuality to So it. what about being a swamp couple? Yeah, see, now now you're talking. Now you piqued my interest. See, and the idea is, so let's say you, the guy and the gal, you know, you got, you know, the girls wearing a dress yeah. that's now covered with plastic or silk leaves. So you take an existing dress. Take an existing dress, exactly. And then the guy's wearing a jacket that's going to be covered with all kinds of twigs, almost even faux grass. You could even take a tie, you know, and cover that with, you know, some some kind of vines. And it really is kind of a cool idea. So now you're wearing a shirt and a tie with a jacket that looks like it's got all these leaves. That's actually really cute. Yeah. Now, how do you attach them to the jacket? It's and, a hot, hot glue gun. And so you, you probably want to go to a thrift store and get one that's not... Who you don't care about because it's good idea, right? Get a cheapo jacket, yeah. you know, Salvation Army jacket, whatever, maybe a garage. So that's sale. just your framework, yeah. And then you tie everything on, uh-huh. and glue everything on. Isn't that kind of fun? That's a great idea. And it's and you can even use faux grass, yeah. And so now the faux grass becomes the jacket, yeah, you like know? little tufts of grass, and do the lapels <laughs> in a different color grass, yeah. That's a great idea. So the idea is is, is to do something that is really simple. You're not going to have to sew it, and it's kind of clever, and you're done. You know, Good. this in. is fun if you are a mom with a, a new baby. It's a spider web mother with a sock spider baby. And so now you just envision the woman is wearing like this white top that you might already have. And then you get like a white skirt that you might have. Or again, you buy it from, you know, some cheapo place. Yeah. But the idea is then you get some, uh, you can get a spider template that you can find online. And then you turn some uh, some ribbon into making your skirt look like it's the spider web. Probably use that washi tape or something. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. If it'll stick to the fabric. I don't know. You might have to hot glue gun it. Mm-hmm. Or it but, it. but you're basically doing very graphic white dress, black webbing on the dress, or vice versa, black dress with the white webbing. And then sock baby's awesome. Well, right? so, that's easy to do. So basically the baby is wearing black little sweats, yeah. but then you're going to get three pairs of men's microfiber black dress socks yeah. and just stuff those, and I guess you could just hot glue gun or s- safety pin them to the top, and it looks like those are the, the legs of the spider coming yeah, out. Yeah, you'll need eight eight legs. <laughs> Perfect. Isn't that fun? Well, yeah, because you use your own legs uh-huh. plus three on each side uh-huh. of you. Uh huh. Great. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Spider baby. It's cute. Yeah. It's Especially great. with you know. So it's like a, it's a great mom and and baby. And if you don't want to carry the kid around, get a little baby Bjorn that you hold the kid in, and then just <laughs> attach everything to that. That's a cute idea. Because you know, that's a long time to hold a baby. 
You know. How about being a coffee filter godmother? I thought you'd never ask. It's a little, it's a little random. It's a little different. And I again, you don't have to sew it. And who doesn't have enough coffee filters sitting around the house? Those little white, you know, paper yeah. dealios, right? Yeah. You need about a hundred of them. So you might need to, you know, if you next time you go to that membership store that I know you go to and you find it, oh, I got to buy this crop. You mean the one that I almost got hepatitis A from, from the bad fruit? Oh, that. Okay. Right. uh, Well, so you need to, (laughs) you need to make sure that you get um, healthy, uh, 100 small uh, coffee filters. And then then there's more. You're also going to need to get the, another hundred of the smaller going to have a hundred of the smaller and then a hundred of the industrial size. And then you'd wear a white skirt and a white top. And you basically are going to glue, hot glue gun, um, these these coffee filters. And so it basically looks like you have an Elizabethan, almost like your Queen Elizabeth with this kind of a, a neck, oh, fluffy, tufty thing. So you create a circle. It almost looks like a... Uh... Like a... Like a car filter. That's it. Yeah, and you're just layering these filters to get that sort of, like you said, that you know, old Elizabethan, Elizabethan thing. looking thing. Yeah, yeah. they great. didn't look happy. It goes in, around the neck, and then it comes down in front of the chest, and then you can, you know, glue stuff onto your slip or your skirt or whatever you. Uh huh. Yeah. Cute. It's it's you know it's creative. It takes a little more effort. Yeah. But that but there's no sewing involved. How about if you want to be like a Medusa? This is something that'd be fun for kids or anybody, and all you have to do is you could get some of those, uh, for girls, for instance, you can get some of those hair extensions, those braid extensions right. that come in a package. Pile them up on top of your head. Pile them on top of your head to look like you have this fancy, almost Grecian bun, yep, right? Yep. And then you buy some of those rubber snakes. Plastic snakes. And you just use some bobby pins. Get about 10 of them. And just put them in your hair, and it looks like the snakes are crawling out of your head. That's a that's a beautiful thing. And that's kind of fun. That's easy to do. It's really easy so, to know, do. I like that. Yeah. I mean, I let, I mean you, what could Maybe be, I could be Mandusa. Mandusa. Uh, you know? Uh-huh. Just put that in my hair. I think it'd be cute. Snakehead. Anyway, we have more ideas, more Love things it. you can do for Halloween without sewing. We have creative costume ideas. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards. Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards and Rock the Boat, apparently. Yes. <laughs> I'm Cindy Dole. I'm Eric Stroman. And uh, we love to have some fun with our music as well as uh, just talking about great things to don't just make you feel better about where you live. And getting ready for Halloween in a way where you don't have to work so hard, don't have to sew anything. Costumes that are fun for you. What about being a ghost? You can be a ghost and use some of this really inexpensive white nylon netting known as tulle. Right. Yeah, that stuff's a miracle. It's a mir- it's it, and inexpensive. You I can might go add. from being a, a ballerina fairy to being a ghost with the same fabric, and it's very fun, right? It's very easy to do, and you just have to bunch it up, put it around, almost create like a you know a poncho slash hood mm-hmm. configuration out of this tool stuff, and you know you're done. You got a, go- a fantastic ghost costume. Maybe some white leggings and a white t-shirt underneath. If it's a little cool. You may want to do a white sweater. You know that feeling when you're in the costume and it's freezing? And, yeah. And you yeah, kind of oh, misjudge the yeah. trick-or-treating yeah, temperature? That's... Hate that. You can take it to the next level, too, yeah, and you... get some glow-in-the-dark paint. You're kidding. Some glow-in-the-dark paint. And the idea is after you put your, your, your tool and you had your, your cape and yeah. your skirt or however you want to do it, if you're a guy, you're wearing maybe just jeans and you got the cape and, and the hoodie, right? Yeah. But what you could do is you could shred the top two layers of the cape and tumble dry it in a hot dryer and then apply some of this glow-in-the-dark paint, and then it's going to look a little amazing. That's crazy ghost city right there. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, what about the garbage bag witch? I know. Garbage bag witch. It's, it's funny how those black garbage bags, you can be so Man, many things like this. So how do, you, how do you assemble and, it? And not only do you, are you a garbage bag witch, but you lose a tremendous amount of weight walking around <laughs> this thing, it's too. It's like, like a... one of those sweatsuits that are made out of plastic. It's kind of like, well, you have your little steam sauna outside, right? Basically, the, the secret of the garbage bag witch is that you just have to create, again, Poncho. So you poke a head through, you know, your head through the top of the mm-hmm. bag. You cut little corners off the corners of the bag. You want to use the huge fifty-five gallon ones, mm-hmm. right? That becomes your the top of your shirt, and then just slip the garbage bag up, you know, by cutting a hole on the bottom up the other way to create a long dress. And then all you have to do is belt it, baby, and you got yourself a garbage bag witch costume. And then just wrap a w- traditional witch's hat that you can buy at any of the stores in garbage bag material, and then you're a garbage bag witch. And if it rains, 
Who's getting wet? No Nobody. One. You're, no you're, one. you're smarter than everybody. That's it. Yeah. I like well, the garbage bag witch. Well, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of rain, you know, we, we also could turn umbrellas into bat wings. How dare you? That's another fun what one. Do you do? You know, or what you, do you do? It? Well, you basically use those traditional old, you know, black umbrellas. Yeah. And you, you open it up and you just kind of secure it to the back of, I don't know, whatever kind of a jacket or shirt that you had. And it looks a lot like bat wings. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the idea is, you know, you can... Oh, I see what you mean. So you're taking like the, you cut a section of it out. Yeah. Let's like say a triangular a... section out of the full umbrella. You can then, use like a bolt cutter to cut to clip go. the metal joints where the That's angle right. support bars meet the spokes, and then you cut off the center rod and the handle. Yeah. Now this is maybe an old umbrella. Who doesn't have an old umbrella that kind of like now it doesn't? It always is cattywampus. It doesn't open all the way. And so this is a little more involved, right? Because we have to use what pliers and untwist the small wire in the. Yeah, spokes you're just kind of disassembling the the guts of the thing and we just keeping. Want the fabric. You want the fabric that's stretched upon most of those little tines that hold it out, right? Uh huh. And then take off a third of it, and that becomes the part that goes uh, around your head, and it's mm-hmm. attached to your back, basically, like a backpack. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very effective because it's the perfect shape of bat wings. And right? you can, if you if you get fancy and attach it to your arms, when you open your arms up, the yeah. wings spread, and uh-huh. then when you put them down, they kind of close again. So that that works kind of good. So how would we fa- how could we fasten them to our arms? You'd you probably think? just pin them to a black to a, like a long sleeve or shirt t-shirt. or something. Yeah, uh-huh. I think that'd work. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Good idea. You can also use bubble wrap, and instead of having a black umbrella, if you know those clear umbrellas that that are still kind of yeah. in and out of fashion, yeah, yeah, yeah. the idea here is you're now going to be a jellyfish. Oh, that's cool. And you use uh, you'd have a clear umbrella, and then some of that bubble wrap, and then maybe some white enamel paint or white tape and a, and a hot glue gun, and then some lightweight. You can get some of that iridescent cellophane, and you open the umbrella. And you cover the metal or any of the, the black parts with white tape. And then you take some large bubble wrap and you cut strips at the diagonal between the bubbles at varying lengths. And now it becomes these strips that kind of look like the little tentacles of, of a jellyfish. So now they're hanging from inside your umbrella. That's kind of cute. Yeah. So that, so that basically is the outfit is the umbrella. And then you just wear an all-white outfit. And you're just holding this, this umbrella. So the shell... You know, it's a very bubbly kind of an umbrella. It looks just like a jellyfish. That's a very good idea. You yeah. know what? You know what else is great if you have a little baby. You do the Harley guy, baby, by putting him in a little Harley T-shirt. That's cute. Jeans, paint a goatee on him, oh and give gosh. him a bandana on his head. <laughs> That's right? funny. And then you wear the same thing, and you look like one of those Harley guy. That's things, cute. And it's his and her Harley guys. It's it's great. It's actually funny. That's a very fun idea. Anytime you make a baby look nuts, it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> How about speaking of kids? There's some really other really easy, fun, you know, great ones to do. You could turn, especially for a little girl, turn her head into a beehive. Oh, that's good. I've seen. You mean like where the bees are kind of. Flying around. The bees are flying around. Yeah. Or you could even use plastic or rubber snakes and ladybugs and other creatures. You know, you could even use some green hair dye and, you know, maybe, you know, first make sure that the, the costume is on and then you just kind of hairspray uh, the hair on the sides of the head so, it, you know, so it kind of just stays there. And then you use sections where you could make it kind of stand up like grass. Right. You know, and it's kind of fun. And then you just, and you use, while it's still sticky, you put the plastic rubber snakes and ladybugs and creatures and just kind of press them there and then and then to get the bees you put little you could use straws with a little thread and then a a paper bee that you make that you hang from a bunch of them that are coming out of your hair that's fun so that you you know you try and use as thin a straw as possible and it just looks like the bees are flying around your head very very become basically like a human mobile you know, with your head. That's very cute. Yeah, have, and of... put one little bee on the nose. There you go. Right? That's a good well, idea. you can get those little kind of felt. Hey, fuzzy the bees, bees are back, by the way. You know, they're coming back. The bees are honeybees, you our mean, honey bees, in yeah. real life? Yeah. Good. I just I just didn't mean to digress, but I read <laughs> some about it. It's, I'm, gl- I'm glad to hear they're coming back. I'm very happy yeah. to hear. How about turning your head into a bird's nest? But it's oh, kind yeah. of But it's kind of like a creepy bird's nest. And it's as simple as just getting some of that moss, you know, that kind of just. In the uh, artsy craft store, you see that moss is, I think it's called Spanish moss. Uh-huh. And you could just use like a, um, an old, 
I don't know, kind of a, a cap that you have so that that's your foundation and a hot glue gun to put the Spanish moss to your little sweater cap, you know, and then you could then glue some <laughs> little, little pigeon, little quail eggs or a little bird on there. I think it's kind of nutty. I know, but now, I like it. now you're that's walking bird nest around. head guy. <laughs> and you can kinda... say that just at the party. I'm bird, net, I'm bird, bird nest, nest head guy. guy. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Now, for those of us who have pets, it's also kind of fun to dress up our dog or our cat, right? And I saw this, this very cute video online. It's a no-sew dog outfit. And basically, you buy a stuffed animal. Let's say you have a cute little small dog. Or for Hazel, who's a bigger dog, you might need a really big stuffed animal. But you're going to make your dog look like they're a lion. Oh, that's funny. What do you do? And so you get, let's say if you had a small dog, it's really easy if you have a small dog. You, you buy... Or maybe you have an old stuffed animal sitting around that looks like it's a teddy bear or a lion. It has the key is that, you know, the face, you're going to cut out the face. So imagine your dog's face now being inserted into the stuffed animal. So you're going to cut out the face. You're going to cut out everything except... Oh, so, the, but the dog's nose and the face everything can, pokes through. Pokes through. I and see. so now it has ears, it oh, has so hair. Cute. And so you just use an existing stuffed animal that's the size of your pet. That's great. You cut out the face. You yeah. cut out everything except you're going to keep... Keep the front legs with the stuffing in, yeah. and you take all the other stuffing out, and you cut it open like it's a vest. And so now you can put it around your dog. You get some of these Velcro, the two-sided Velcro strips, right. and now it fastens it around That's its tummy. Great. And then you know, and then it has like the it, you have the 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 two front furry stuffed animal arms, just kind of dangling naturally out of its chest. Right. But then the back legs. You cut a hole, you know, all that stuffing is taken out, and now your your dog's front paws go through the back legs of the stuffed animal. Oh, so wow. So now it has like the, the floppy. That's funny. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's a great and, idea. And if it has a tail, it has those, you know, but I love the idea you could use a lion, you could use a frog. I've seen that done. It's really cute. And it's as simple as just buying a stuffed animal. It just takes a matter of minutes, and it's under like five bucks. And how cute is that? That's you know? great. So anyone can do that, you yeah. know, and if you wanted to secure it even more, you could use, like if maybe you have one of those um, kind of, I don't know, what you, like a harness around your pet, you could also Velcro parts to that, sure, too. to keep so it close. Keep it more yeah. like a vest. Anyway, we'll put this on our website, of that's, course. That's great. I'm doing it with Some, Hazel. I know, but you're going to need a pretty pretty big stuffed animal. Yeah, she's a big girl. She's a big, she's like, what, 70 pounds? She's off dig. She's, yeah, you know, she's big boned. L- slender. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, some fun <laughs> ideas, no so costumes for you. Keep it here. You're listening to Home Wizards because we love to improve your home and improve your life. But though I never...